If it wasn't for broccoli, we might never have had any James Bond movies. The broccoli plant was created in the 19th century by an Italian family. Giovanni Broccoli and his brother immigrated from Calabria to Long Island where they started a farm, producing the Calabrese broccoli that they grew up with. The farm grew quickly and their broccoli exploded in popularity in the United States. After moving to Long Island, Giovanni had a son named Albert. Albert, whose nickname was Cubby, made the move out to Hollywood and what he wanted to do was become a producer. It was in the early 1960s that Broccoli began. Casting for the lead role of James Bond was extremely important. The entire success of the franchise would rest on who they got to play the role. The person they eventually chose was Sean Connery. They made the movie Dr. No, which was a critical and box office hit, and it spawned the longest running franchise in the history of motion pictures. Even though it is a long, circuitous path, there is a definite connection between the family that gave us Broccoli and the man which brought James Bond to life.